For row one, make six single crochet in a magic ring. To do a magic ring, just twist your yarn like this. Insert your hook in the magic ring then chain one. And start making six single crochets. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And six. Pull the tail to tighten the hole. Do not slip stitch, we're going to work in round. For row two, make two single crochet in each stitch. Mark your first stitch. Hide the tail while making single crochet, so that we don't need to weave it later. You should have 12 stitches. For row 3, the pattern is one single crochet, then make an increase in the next stitch. Repeat that around. First single crochet. Always mark your first stitch. Make an increase. One SC. Increase. One SC again. Then increase. You should have 18 stitches. For row 4, the pattern is, make an increase. Then one single crochet in the next two stitches. Repeat that around. Don't forget to mark the first stitch. Repeat the pattern around. Increase to SC, increase to SC.
You should have 24 stitches. For row 5 to row 11, just make one single crochet in each stitch. That is 7 rows in total. Just don't forget to put the stitch marker on the first stitch so that you'll know where to start your next row. I suggest you to use a row counter for you to keep track on your rows. Let me finish mine, then I'll get back to you. There you go! For row 12, the pattern is 3 single crochet, decrease. 3 single crochet, repeat it 3 times. One, two, three, decrease. One, two, three. Again. One, two, three. Decrease. One, two, and three. Last repeat. One, two, three. Decrease. One, two, and three. You should have 21 stitches. For row 13, the pattern is 5 single crochet, then decrease. 1 2 3 4 5 Decrease Repeat the pattern. You should have 18 stitches. After row 13, pause for a while. Get your floral wire for the stem. Insert it inside and make sure that your wire is level with row 13.
Mark that, we're going to put silicone or glue gun around that. Put your silicone like this. Let it dry or cool down until it hardens. This silicone will be the stopper of the floral wire so that it doesn't slip out. Feel free to add more silicone until you are satisfied. Put it aside. Let's make row 14 first while waiting for the silicone to cool down. The pattern for row 14 is to single crochet, decrease. To single crochet, repeat it three times. One. Two. Decrease. One. Two. One, two. Decrease. One, two. Repeat it around. You should have 15 stitches. Now get your stub. This is how it will look when it's cooled down. Insert the wire inside, then you may now start stuffing your buds. Look at that, now your stem will no longer slip out. When putting your stuffings, make sure that the wire is centered. I think this is enough for me. Anyway, I can add more later as I go. Now, for row 15, the pattern is 3 single crochet, then decrease. Repeat 3 times. 
1. Put back the stitch marker. 2 3 Decrease 1 2 3 Decrease Again 1 2 3 Last decrease You should have 12 stitches. Add some stepping. For row 16, the pattern is one single crochet, decrease. One single crochet, repeat three times. One, mark it. Decrease. Another one single crochet. Repeat. You should have nine total stitches. And for our last row, row 17, the pattern is one single crochet, then decrease. Repeat three times. Single crochet. Decrease. Single crochet. Decrease. Single crochet. And last, decrease. Remove the stitch marker and cut the yarn. You can still add some fiber fill if you want before closing the hole.
Use this tail to close the hole. This is how I close mine. You may now hide the tail inside the buds. This is how it will look like. If you like this tutorial please click the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. For you to get notified on my next tutorial, thank you. Watch part 3 for the tutorial of the petals.